many of our more popular garden and home plants have fibrous root systems. To understand fibrous roots, we need to place these roots in the context of the other types of roots out there. What is a root? A root is an underground structure in vascular plants. It helps to anchor the plant in the ground. The root functions to absorb salts and water and transport these to the stem and leaves where they can be used by the plant. What are the main types of roots? Tap roots. These are typical of decotyledonous, plants where the seeds have two halves, that form two first leaves, and gymnosperms, plants like pine trees, and consist of a dominant main root that grows downwards with lateral roots branching off from this. Fibrous roots. Our article focuses on monocotyledonous plants, plants where the seed has one piece and one first leaf. These roots emanate from a central point and are roughly equal in length. Adventitious roots. These are roots that arise from an organ other than a root and develop into roots. As an example, if we take a stem leaf cutting and plant it, the roots that develop are adventitious. Plants with fibrous roots. Onions. Onions have tiny roots, but numerous ones. Many people will tell you that onions have shallow roots. If your soil is healthy, onions will penetrate up to 30 inches into the soil. Asparagus. Asparagus is a monocotyledonous plant and consequently has fibrous roots. However, it has storage roots that can give rise to adventitious roots that in turn have a fibrous nature. Mace corn. This is probably my favorite fibrous rooted plant. Being a monocotyledon, maize is a textbook example of a plant with fibrous roots. Just to be a little bit irritating, maize also has adventitious roots. Dwarf bamboo. Dwarf bamboo has small fibrous roots that help it to grow through thick soil. Garlic. Garlic is shallow rooted and grows in a clump with the root system on the outside. Being a monocotyledonous plant, it has fibrous roots by default. Pumpkins. These are decotyledonous plants, hence they have a central tap root as they grow, however, the stems form adventitious roots that root and grow in a fibrous style. In this regard, this plant displays both types of root systems, but in my experience, until it puts down fibrous roots, the pumpkin is nothing more than a 1PU sorghum is a shallow-rooted monocotyledonous plant. Switchgrass Switchgrass is a perennial with a deep taproot. It's used primarily for hay production. It's commonly grown in a deep mound. The root system is strong and durable. Switchgrass is sensitive to drought and will produce less when moisture is limited. Rice Rice is a monocotyledonous plant that grows well in a watery environment. I and Dr. Nyko, who also writes on this site, have had a lot of fun growing rice in our garden. It produces an extreme network of fibrous roots in the paddy. Leeks Closely related to onions, leeks are also monocots and have a fibrous root system. I cannot find a reference to exactly how deep leek roots go, but I would guess that they go far deeper than onion roots. Wheat, barley, oats, and rye. If it were not for these plants a lot of us would not be here. They account for a significant percentage of the total food intake of humanity, and as humble monocotyledonous plants with a simple fibrous root system, these plants are indispensable to modern humanity. Conclusion We have hundreds of thousands of plants with fibrous roots across the world. Some of them are used as food, some are just for ornamental beauty, and the vast majority provide ecosystem services to keep the planet alive. All of them are brought together to make the world a better place. I enjoy eating things, so I focused on edible ones that are fun to grow. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.